Well, we're joined by Chris Hargreaves. Uh, welcome, Chris. And uh, you've got uh, three more signings you can uh, tell us about today. Yeah, Do, delighted. Just, can we run through those and see who you've got? Yeah, we've got uh, Tom Yonkerman, who's a young goalkeeper from Holland. We signed from the Nike Academy, so disbanded. Um, and I had a few conversations with Matt Murray in the summer, who was his goalkeeping coach. Spoke really highly of him, and so delighted to have him in. And you've got Michael Kelly as well, who, who people have seen playing in some of the pre-season games. Yeah, left back, uh, released by Leicester, uh, and really hungry to do well. So again, just a really good chance for him to come in and, and impress. And uh, yeah, we've got another one. Cameron Ebert, who Cameron scored Ebert. at Salisbury, didn't he? He did, scored a great header. Cam's, again, had been released from a, a big club in, in Birmingham, but very bright, sharp front player, can play on the left or in the pocket um, so delighted to have all three of them and just to, uh, can we tell how many players we've got in your squad or you have in Hundreds. your squad no. <laughs> we've had a lot of trialists you know no, we keep, have, it, yeah. keeping and, tabs and on you know them. what the, the theme has been that we thank them so much for coming in and giving it a go and we, you know we can't we can't give everyone a contract and I say to all the lads before it starts you know we wish you your best in your careers and we want them to have careers Regardless of, of them signing for us, we want them to make it. But we've had a lot of players in, they've all given it everything and we'll probably from that group sign around eight players. And are you still looking at players yeah. now? Up until at what point do you say uh, we, we have enough? Will be the end of next week yeah. for our squad and then we, we, we've started working on obviously team shape um, a couple of weeks ago using formation, different formations and different players but it's, it's gradually getting to the crux of it. So... I'd expect maybe a couple more in next week and then we're done. How have you enjoyed your pre-season oh, in charge it. of the group? Yeah, we love it. It's, um, it's great to see some of them playing in, in Daryl's first team and I think they've held their own. I think they really have. I think they've, they've showed up really well. And so it's promising and what it does, it shows these lads that there is a path that they can get in. And that's what I want. I want them to believe that they can play at the Mem in front of 10,000 people because we need local lads and young lads that we've brought in from other places to be successful and, and to, to, to you know to go on and further their careers and if it starts here then brilliant i think it's quite an exciting time you have an under 21 yeah. or under 23 squad with a, with a games program you, you had people come up from the academy before yeah. and no games to play nowhere no, to go that's right there's a games program it is competitive because the, the central league is a bit of everything isn't it it's it's lads that are coming back from fitness Lads that are fighting and the twenty ones certainly for us. Plus we've got a couple of cup competitions and some friendlies against bigger clubs in there. The ones that we feel need to go on loan will also go on loan and play men's football. I've got one going out next week, I think, so that'll be good for him to get some some game time on a Saturday with a with a club that that need points, which is what it will be on a Saturday. So that that's the balance. They're, they either stay here and fight for the first team because they're close, they play full 21 programme games, or they go on loan. I think people will see we're signing players, but the, the other thing not to forget is the ones that have made it as first-year pros, and, and they're just as important as, yeah, as anyone else you bring. Definitely, and th that's, that's, that's right. The lost sort of crew, that you know, the rolling is playing up more, Ryan Broom's playing up more, and ex I expect more to do that this season. That's what I want for them. So we get the, the lads that are close that really need to be knocking on the door and the lads that are a project that have just turned 18 and if you get one that pops up then brilliant and can i ask you about your your team because you've got yeah. uh, brian dutton who we've yes, not interviewed yet what but shame. <laughs> what a shame that's the only blow of pre-season that's the only nightmare no dutz is, is is great he honestly is is really ambitious to do well he loves coaching loves being on the training ground and he's helping with some of the continental signings that we're, we're trying to bring in um, and trying to look at to see how they integrate with our group and how they develop and whether they we see them having a pathway because that's what we want to do we want to we want to look everywhere it wants to be a, a global attitude to it i know it's difficult mm. we're not saying we're sending him to uh the farthest reaches of the world to, to have a three-week holiday but it's just having a look it's, it's opening ourselves up to different players and also helping with um, with our 21s games and our, our training programme, because as you say, we're going to have a, a few lads out on loan, so they need to be looked at as well. And you've got Steve Murdenhall yeah, working with you as well. Shame. so Another bit of big blow, <laughs> no. Not moaning yet. No, no, but that's his... But he's... Do you, do you know what? He, he now has seen 
what the other side of it's like and the hours that we, we want to put in, not that we have to, we want to put in to try and help these lads. And Mildy's really enjoyed it. He's, he's absolutely loving it. Um, he just needs to buy more coffees. <laughs> That's the only problem. A bit quiet on that front. But it's good that you, you have a team yeah. working with you. As yeah, Daryl's got a team working with him and you, and you can bounce ideas off. Yeah, it is. And, um, you know, it's all thanks to the owner, the chairman and the manager for putting this in place. But we have to repay that by getting lads into the first team. That's the hard facts of it. And so we're trying hard to do that. Ultimately, everything relies on the first team performance. And we are doing everything in our powers to help that. So if he needs a player one morning or five players or ten players, that's fine. If he needs players to come back into our squad to, to get fit, fine. It all revolves around that. And then we work from there. From what we've seen of some of the youngsters, the, the future looks good. Yeah, it, looks it does, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the, the promising players, they're, they're not intimidated by going into train with the first team and they're not intimidate, intimidated in a match game. And that's the most important thing.